I, I, I couldn't imagine what kind of guy Katie would pick. I was talking to Beth about it one time, and she says, don't worry about it. You'll know when you see it. She'll know. You'll see. You want me to turn? <laughs> You look beautiful. <laughs> oh, you good? Yeah, I'm good. You look beautiful. Thank you. I love you. I love you too. Dear Baxter, I can't believe that today is finally here. We've been planning this wedding for almost two years, but I've been ready to be your wife since the day we started dating. For so long, I prayed to meet a man as kind, smart, and handsome as you are, and God more than answered my prayers. You're my best friend and absolute favorite person. You always make me laugh, calm me down when I'm feeling anxious, and push me to achieve my goals. You make me the best version of myself. You have the biggest heart. I know you'll be the best dad to our children. <sighs> Katie, I knew we would get married when we kissed for the first time at my apartment. From the first day, we met each other at Navigant's front desk. How nervous I would feel every time you walked by my desk or asked me to join you for lunch at your Halloween party, at the Super Bowls, trying to sit by you at brunch with our friends and being upset when it didn't work out, all the way to our Will Ferrell marathon and that first kiss, and of course everything after that. All along, you have always been it. I look at you and I see a brilliant, loving, faithful, hilarious, and incredibly beautiful woman who makes me want to do better in every facet of my life. When things get tough, I know that we can work through whatever life throws our way, and we'll be by your side through it all. I promise to support your dreams, <laughs> even if it scares me. Just talking about being a pilot for that one. To be patient and kind, and to always make you feel loved. I will wake up every day and strive to be a better wife than I was the day before. I'm so grateful that God has led us to each other. I can't imagine a single day without you. I'm the luckiest woman in the world to be your wife. I love you, Big Star. I love Katie Cole. The two people who aren't here, who I truly wish could be here, are my Grammy and G-Paw. I could always look at their picture in my mom's den and think of my G-Paw when times weren't great, and that would make it somehow feel a little bit better. Please open your gift. Oh, that was in brackets. <laughs> I was supposed to read that. <laughs> Even though they might not be here today for this wedding, that shining example of the love that my Grammy and g -Paw shared will be with you always. Every time I look at the stone and that necklace around your neck, the stone from the, the stone from the ring that you are every single day, I will be reminded of how I need to be that this man, husband and father that can possibly be for you and our family. Without you, I would not be the man I am today. I would not be the luckiest man alive who finally <laughs> gets to go. I would not be the luckiest man alive who finally gets to call Katie Cole's. I love you unconditionally, Katie, and I can't wait to be your husband. I'll see you at the end of the guy. Love, Max. That's so sweet. And this switch on. Yes. He had a pinky ring that he always wore. There was a little diamond in it, and that's the diamond. You know, everybody who knows Baxter knows that he's talked about Katie for quite a while before they got together. Yeah, his parents will tell the story. Ah, oh, Katie this, Katie that, Katie this, Katie that. I went to Katie's, I gave Katie this, I did that, I did. 
Well, what you guys don't know is that we heard the same thing from Katie. We heard Baxter this, Baxter that, Baxter work, Baxter football. So I'm wondering, who's this Baxter guy? So I sent my youngest son, Chris, to Washington, D.C. I said, hey, put eyes on Baxter. <laughs> Tell me about this guy. Right? So I send him off on his intrepid mission. And Baxter, God bless you. You're the smartest man I know. Chris goes to D.C. and he goes to a Jimmy Buffett concert. He drinks, quote unquote, the biggest beer I ever had. All right? But he assures me, Dad, Baxter's in the friend zone. <laughs> well, guys, we all know Baxter's not in the friend zone. <laughs> right? And we all know don't send Chris on a mission like that. <laughs> Baxter, you are a smart, loyal, caring, strong man. You fit perfectly with Katie. Beth was right when she said, you'll know. You'll see, you'll know, because as soon as we met you, we knew. When we saw how Katie looks at you, we knew. When we heard how you talked about Katie, we knew. <laughs> you know, Baxter, sometimes I think you're so great, my sons have crushes on you. <laughs>